Assalamu alaikum, um, Ramadan Mubaraksha. My name is Poesha Sherwani, and I have to think about ways in which I can love Allah more. Um, automatically, my first thought was I need to become more patient. And I think part of that has to do with growing up um, with hot headed parents which I think is fine. And I live in a culture also from Pakistan that's known for being hot headed, but uh, it's a part of me. I have to cool down with silence and walking away um, a little too often. And in this work and the work that I'm involved um, with, which is voter engagement or politics, some of the messy stuff of politics, um, sometimes campaigning, you need to have a lot of patience and you have to stop once in a while and regroup anyways, because it's so um, fast paced. It's constantly scaling up and down. It's competitive. People are backstabbing and it's hard to be in that environment without wanting to just pop off or come up in, in New York, they say, come out of your face. And I've been doing that lately where I'm like, just don't come out of your face right now because you might lose your job. But that's one thing, and especially during Ramadan, it's a perfect time <laughs> to learn patience. And I think you can never learn enough patience. I think the most patient people in the world are saintly. And so um, I always strive for that. I think maybe um, to love Allah more, I do very strongly believe in humility. My my parents are also very humble people, especially my mom. It's, she's a very humble, very sweet and sensitive human being. Um, and I think that's where I get my gentleness. But uh, even so, sometimes... You know, if your ego is slighted, that's not a practice of humility. Um, and I suppose that happens to me from time to time where I feel slighted. And it was totally not a slight. It was just uh, somebody misspeaking. But I, goes, I, I don't have patience for that. And so I always want to talk back and... I would like to learn more humility so that I don't really have that much of an ego where it's so fragile that I can become offended easily by nonsense. And that's also another thing that um, you work on during Ramadan during this time. I think that um, loving myself more is an act of love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, being being nice to myself, being kind to myself, being proud of who I am, um, and being kind are all acts. So I'm a little contradictory because on one hand, I'm like, I'm not patient enough, I'm not humble enough. But then I also know that I can be one of those that don't give myself enough credit and so I guess the, the theme is um, being a better person, being a more saintly person, um, following the, the lessons of the prophet, which by the way, I love our prophet because our prophet was a warrior, Alhamdulillah, and the prophet inspires me to um, do the work that I do today to try to make life better for Muslims in this country. Um, but also at the same time, I want to somehow incorporate that piece um, that the prophet forms in that sacred and rare uh, relationship with Allah. Only so few people ever in the history of humankind have been prophets. And so for our prophet, uh, the example of being a warrior and a defender, but also to um, embody all of the divine peace that, you know, our God is um, 
it's a it's a beautiful thing to aspire for to become but those are the initial things i think about when i want to be more loving towards uh god but also something i've been saying like almost as an affirmation on a regular basis and this started after trump was elected in 2016 when i was like we were all frantic but i i did do the law and i did ask like what can we do now like what are we going to do and i i just heard at least from my inner subconscious to stay loving and so that's another um that's another thing to always remember is that to show god love you have to stay loving you have to be loving and remain so even when you have reasons to not be anymore 